शांति 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 द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योग निद्रा बिगिन्स काइंडली लाइ डाउन कंफर्टेबली विथ योर लेग्स स्लाइटली अपार्ट eyes closed and body in the pose of relaxation keep in your mind that you are going to practice yoga nidra the purpose is not to sleep but the purpose is to keep awake and keep on listening to me without trying to think very much the meaning of instructions i am practicing yoga nidra should be the form of your awareness during this period become aware of the whole body the whole body which is lying over the floor the whole body which is lying over the floor have a quick vision of the whole body which is lying over the floor in the practice of yoga nidra at this moment you must make a resolution resolution is to be made in the beginning as also at the end of the yoga nidra you may not make a resolution right at this moment but surely sometimes you have to fix a resolution for yourself a resolution made in the beginning and at the end of yoga nidra is like a seed sown in the depth of your consciousness anything in life can fail you but not the sankalpa the resolution made in the beginning and at the end of yoga nidra keep on listening to me do not try hard mentally whatever you can manage easily you can follow i am practicing yoga nidra should be the form your consciousness the consciousness now is to be rotated the rotation has to take place almost mechanically it is not concentration but it is just awareness the name of the limb is to be repeated mentally and a vision of that part of the body is to be awakened in the mind right hand thumb second finger third finger fourth fifth palm wrist elbow shoulder armpit 
hip, thigh, kneecap, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, the big toe, the second, the third, fourth, fifth. Go on to the left. Repeat the name mentally and have a quick vision. Left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, hip, left thigh, kneecap, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Take your mind to the back side of your body. The right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, the right side of the buttock, the left side, the right heel, the left heel. Go in the front of the body, the top of the head, forehead, right eye, left eye, middle of the eyebrows, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, both lips together, chin, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, the whole of the chest, navel, abdomen, now the major parts of the body, right leg, left, right arm, left arm, both legs, both arms together, abdomen, chest, the whole of your back, the head, the whole body, 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 and the whole body. Body is resting on the floor. The floor and the body touch each other at a certain point. You have to now become aware of that point. The meeting point between the right ankle and the floor. The meeting point of the left ankle and the floor. The meeting point between the buttocks and the floor. The meeting point between the back and the floor. The meeting point between the head and the floor. Become aware of the meeting point. This is just an experience. I repeat again, head and the floor, back and the floor, palms and the floor, buttocks and the floor, thighs and the floor, 
right heel and the floor, left heel and the floor. The whole body, become aware of the whole body. Now you have to develop certain sensations in the whole body with the help of your willpower. As you go on practicing this, you will be able to do it better in later sessions. Awaken the feeling of cold in the whole body. In the same way as if you were put in a cold room, and how would you experience the cold? And then again change your mind and Awaken the feeling of heat in the body. Heat, as if you are put in a hot room. As you go on practicing, you will be able to experience the coldness and the heat through your willpower. Awaken the cold experience throughout the body. You have certainly experienced coolness and the cold climate in the past. And that experience is in your mind. Bring it out. You have had experience of heat in the past, and that's in your mind. Bring it out. Explode the experience of heat and experience of cold alternately. Become aware of the whole body. Visualize the whole body as if you are visualizing it from outside. In the same way as I am able to see your body, you see your own from outside. Take your mind at the root of the spinal cord. At the root of spinal cord, at the root of the tailbone. Now you will have to travel through the spinal cord up to the brain. The last end of the tailbone in the perineum, concentrate on that plexus. It is cosigial plexus, muladhar chakra. Go up a bit up at the root of the spinal cord. That is known as Swadhisthan Chakra. Up again behind the navel in the spinal cord is the solar plexus. Concentrate on this plexus, Manipur. Up again behind the heart in the spinal cord is cardiac plexus. Concentrate on cardiac plexus. This is anaha chakra. Go up in the neck. 
This is Vishuddhi Chakra. Go up to the top of the spinal cord in the posterior brain. This is the pineal gland, Agnya Chakra. In the same way, you will have to descend. The top of the spinal cord, the pineal gland, Agnya Chakra. Go down in the neck, again down behind the heart, down again behind the navel, down again the root of the spine, and at the bottom, at the end of the tailbone. Concentrate on the whole body. Visualize the whole body. Now, with quickness, you try to visualize a few important items. Do not concentrate too much. Go as fast as you can. I will enumerate the names of those things which you must have seen in your life. As I tell you the names, you must quickly visualize them. Flowing river. And a boat, the sandy bank, and a small dock, mango tree, and a leaf, guava tree and a float. White rose and the rose thorn. Twinkling stars in the sky at night without a moon. The vision of the dark night. And a white rose again with a thorn. Vision of an ocean. with massive waves. The expanding beach. A flying eagle. A flying eagle. Dense forest, tall trees, shady darkness, and a small thatched hut, a clean thatched hut. Rising sun, the symbol Om.
become aware of your sankalpa, the resolution which you may make in future. Anything in life can fail, but not the resolution made in the beginning and at the end of Yoga Nidra. A resolution made is a seed sown in the deeper layers of minds. I am practicing Yoga Nidra. I was practicing Yoga Nidra. Become aware of external environments. You are aware of the body and of the situations around you. And I will chant Shanti and Om. Then Hari Om Tat Sat then you will get up. Asato ma sat gamaya tamaso ma jyotir gamaya mrityor ma amritam gamaya sarvesham swasti bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukamiva Bandhanam Mrityor Mukshi Yamamritat Om Shantihi Shantihi Shanti Haryom Tatsat Haryom Tatsat Haryom Tatsat The practice of Yoga Nidra is over. Now you may get up and open your eyes. Haryom Tatsat